Hello again to a new video. My name is Dominic Al Mahmed. I am a doctor and therapist. As you see, I'm wearing summer clothes. I'm now in Romanian Bucharest. Uh, we have 23 degrees here in November. That's not usual. So let's get started. The first video was about introverts. Today we will talk about extroverts. And the first most, most obvious quality, they draw energy from social interactions. So how do you feel when you how do you feel after a social event, when you go to a party, when you go to an event, you come back home, do you feel energized or do you feel like the introverts, like you were in a fight? The extroverts feel happy with other people, they work with groups, they like events, they go to them, they talk off there and they enjoy the time with other people, they like to exchange uh, experiences ask opinions so do you have these qualities or not write in the comments down below the second quality or let's say the second uh, question do you like uh, to stay in the focus of attention do you like attention do you enjoy it some extrovert like attention they are some called by some people attention seeking but we must uh, differentiate uh, between extroverts and attention seeking people because the attention seeking thing can uh, can uh, be a quality of nice people nice guy syndrome we'll talk a bit about it in another video but the extroverts they just enjoy the interactions they don't expect anything from anyone the third quality of extroverts they don't like to spend the time alone and this is, that doesn't mean that they are afraid or uh, they feel uncertain when they're alone they just find it boring they don't like the iso isolation and they seek always uh, contact uh, to speak about anything and everything. They can't withstand the boredom. You know? And that's not like the people there that they are, uh, how do we say it, uh, dependent. They are afraid to be alone. They think that they don't uh, achieve anything or you, they don't survive alone that's not about it by the extroverts they just don't want to be alone and that's a, de a decision it's, it's not a fear so the first question do you feel usually distracted do you look for more interactions uh, the extroverts try to do more interactions and they don't go deep in the relations because they got distracted easily when you see three people, you want to talk to all three people. That's why you don't have the time to go deep in the relationship with one of them. Uh, are you one of these people that get distracted easily? Write down in the comments below. So the fifth quality of extroverts, they like to discuss their problems with other people and they get usually inspired by other people. Uh, not like the introverts, they keep the problems for themselves. They try to figure it out for themselves, the extroverts enjoy talking to people, hearing the opinions of others, and they want solutions from, from the outside world, and they look for people who did something like that, what they did, and they get inspired by them, and they ask for more than one opinion, they don't stick to one opinion, they ask all of them, and they look for a solution for themselves. So what are the pros and cons of being an extrovert? The pros are of course that you are socially approvable, you are integrated, you have a lot of activities, a lot of people you know that can help you in your life. But the cons are you get easily distracted, you don't have, uh, maybe you don't have those uh, deep relationships, you get to know a lot of people but you don't get to know them very well and you get bored so easily, you don't... Uh, you don't spend your time alone and maybe we need sometimes this time alone to reflect on ourselves that's the con of being an extrovert so i hope you enjoyed this short video about extroverts for the next time we will talk about another person uh, personality qualities and please like this video subscribe and activate the bell button and have a nice day we'll see you on the next one maybe in bucharest maybe in germany i will see where i am but have a nice day. Adios. Ciao. La revedere. Tschüss.